Sandor Ferenczi's Confusion of Tongues paper is probably one of the most important psychoanalytic papers ever written and today is considered prophetic in its anticipation of developments in contemporary psychoanalytic thinking and practice. Let's walk through some basics together before you read it. Sandor Ferenczi was one of Freud's most promising students. Their relationship has been the subject of a lot of study and discussion over the years. Ferenczi was analyzed by Freud for about six months, and it's understood that he developed a very strong attachment to Freud, and very much wished to earn his love and admiration. In his professional life, Ferenczi quickly established himself as a talented clinician who worked with the most desperate of cases. This paper was given first as a presentation to the 12th Congress of the International Psychoanalytic Association in Weisbaden, Germany. It would end up being Ferenczi's last public lecture. Before traveling to the Congress, Ferenczi visited Freud to show him the paper and to seek his approval. Freud had a very negative response to the paper. He even told Ferenczi that he shouldn't present it at the Congress. We know from their correspondence, uh, the letters that they exchanged, that this was a very painful disagreement between them and that Freud considered Ferenczi's paper a kind of acting out against him. It turns out that a few weeks after giving the paper, Ferenczi was diagnosed with pernicious anema, from which he died nearly eight months later. In reading this paper, keep in mind a few things. First, this paper can be thought of as having two separate but related sections, each section addressing an important topic that we'll discuss later. Note that the first two paragraphs of the paper are dense and probably difficult to understand given the technical and old time language. But essentially, in these two paragraphs, Ferenczi is describing a problem he's encountered while working with his patients using this standard psychoanalytic technique. That might help clarify and give you a sense of what he's talking about. It's starting with the third paragraph where Ferenczi starts to really narrow in and be clear and to present his original ideas. There is some older language throughout the rest of the paper, but don't worry about that so much. Just try and get a grasp of the spirit of what he's saying. Here are some questions to help you focus in on the most important ideas of the paper. First, what is it in the paper that you think caused Freud to react so negatively? Second, Ferenczi uses the term professional hypocrisy. What do you think he means by that? And what suggestions is he making to us about it? Third, Freud once suggested to us that patients need to remember their traumatic experiences in therapy. Ferency in this paper is going a step further. So what do you think he's saying happens in therapy around trauma? Fourth, how do you think Ferency would view a therapist's attempts to remain anonymous to their patient? And lastly, what are the languages of tenderness and passion that Ferenczi refers to in his title? I hope you enjoy the paper as much as I do, and I'm really looking forward to talking to you about it in class.